Before you begin using your Jerome J605, let's make sure you've received everything on your packing list. Components of the accessory kit for the J605 depend on the instrument model. For all models, you will receive a three foot line cord that meets the requirements of the country in which the instrument will be used, an AC power adapter, one pack of 20 fritware filters, a probe, a quarter inch to eighth inch tubing adapter, and a zero air filter. If you have purchased the J605 with the communications package, you will also receive a six foot type A to B USB cable, as well as a USB flash drive. If you are missing any of these items or have questions about these or any other parts and accessories you may have received, please contact Amatech Arizona Instrument or your local representative for assistance. After you have verified that you've received everything on your packing slip, simply turn on the instrument by pressing the power button. If any calibration reminders appear, simply press escape to return to the main screen. The display should read 0.000 ppm. On the main menu, you will see the date, time, battery life indicator, test result, result units, sensor saturation meter, and menu link. Now that you are well acquainted with your Jerome J605, there are just two more steps before you can begin sampling. Performing sensor regeneration and the clean air system check. Now that the instrument is on, it is time to perform a sensor regeneration. Sensor regeneration should be performed at the beginning and end of every day you are using the instrument, as well as whenever the sensor becomes saturated. Regeneration helps to reset the sensor so that it can continue to provide accurate and precise readings. To perform a regeneration cycle on the J605, plug the instrument into the line cord and AC adapter or the optional external battery pack. Press the right arrow button to enter the main menu. Then press the down arrow button to move the cursor to regen and press the right arrow key to enter the regeneration menu. Press the right arrow to select Regen Now on the Regen menu. When prompted to confirm your choice, press Enter to proceed or press Escape to cancel. Read the warning that appears, then press Enter to proceed or Escape to cancel. A single regeneration cycle takes approximately 45 minutes, during which time you will not be able to use the instrument. Do not interrupt the regeneration cycle. If any error messages appear, refer to the troubleshooting section of the manual or contact Amatech Arizona Instrument or your local representative for assistance. Now that you have regenerated the sensor on your J605, it is time to perform the clean air system check. This test should be performed after every regeneration cycle. Performing the clean air system check ensures better accuracy of readings and helps equilibrate the internal electronics of the J605 to the temperature of the air that's coming into the instrument. To perform the clean air system check, insert the zero air filter into the intake port located on the front of your J605 so that the arrow on the label is pointing toward the instrument. Once inserted, take five samples waiting 15 seconds between each to maximize sample accuracy and allow the sensor to restabilize. To take a sample, press the enter button on the main screen or the silver sample button located at the tip of the handle. Readings should decrease and at least three of the five readings should be at 0.000 ppm. If readings are not 0.000 ppm, contact Amatech Arizona Instrument or your local representative for assistance. Now that you have successfully performed a sensor regeneration and the clean air system check, it is time to take a sample. Please note that for levels less than 10 ppb, it is necessary to run a warm-up routine with the zero air filter before sampling. To do so, install the zero air filter and select warm up from the regen menu. This will initiate the five minute warm up. 
For levels of 10 ppb and above, the warm-up is not necessary. To take a sample, you can either press the enter button on the keypad or the silver sample button at the tip of the handle. At the end of the sampling cycle, the reading will appear on the screen in ppm or ppb. It is important that you do not obstruct the intake or exhaust ports. Do not allow the probe or the intake to draw in liquids. At the end of a sampling day, or if the sensor becomes saturated, perform a sensor regeneration cycle. For more Jerome tutorial videos, check out the playlist linked in the description below. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about your Jerome J605, please contact Amatech Arizona Instrument or your local representative using the links in the description below. We look forward to serving all of your mercury vapor and hydrogen sulfide detection needs. If you like this video, let us know by liking, commenting, and subscribing. Have a topic in mind for a future video? Send us your suggestion by visiting azic.com contact.